After writing a pair of number one hits for Garth Brooks and Eli Young Band. Lee Bryce now has his first as an artist. It is a cool day, are you kidding me? My first number one as an artist. Now, you know, how lucky am I to be a part of this? I'm lucky to have found a song that these writers have put together and, and did what it did. I'm lucky. Alone and out there on the loose. Well, I'd be looking for a woman like you. I'm always so proud to have success as a songwriter, and that's a, a proud moment for me. And this is more like a, a feeling of accomplishment. We've been on the road for six years, and we had a song go number three, number two, um, which was unbelievable, and we appreciated it so much. But now to be sitting here with a number one uh, feels like it's uh, we've gotten to a, a, the first step that we wanted to get to so that we can continue on, you know, and uh, this was the goal, and uh, it's a great place to start. Woman Like You was the first single from his new album, Hard to Love, a vast collection of honest songs about life, love, heartbreak, good times, and even his own growing family. This album, we really, really worked hard. I dug really deep on this thing, and I had so many songs that I wanted to put on it, but I had to get it down to you know, 13 songs at the most. My motto was, best song wins, period. And we got 13 of them that were the best songs. And five of them I found all around the town. I had songs that I wrote that I could have filled those five slots with, but to me, they had to be on this album. And so I, I try to make the best album I could possibly make. Life Off My Ears, what a wonderful song. Eric Church was a co-writer on this song. And I heard this song, and I knew Eric wrote it because his voice was on the demo. And I was wondering why in the world he didn't cut it, because it, it obviously talks about the way he views life. And it just really talked a lot about the way I view life. And that's how I really try to live it truly every day. I'm hard in love, hard in love. You say that you need me. Well, I don't deserve it, but I love that you love me. This album uh, does really revolve around hard to love. And not necessarily me as a man being too hard to love. I try to be sweet and I try to get things done right. More about Sarah and Dakota, my fiance and my little boy. Uh, this life that, that I have and, and this job, this career, it takes a toll sometimes and I'm gone all the time. So that can be hard to love. It's a hard thing to do to be away from home so much. And, uh, and there's a lot of songs on the record that, that, that reflect where I'm at in my life right now. His fiance Sarah and their three-year-old son Dakota appear on the album's final track. A little Dakota's on there and uh, he's he's talking to me on the phone at the, end, at the end of the album and also Sarah's on there as well so uh, so I do I like to put my family in the song. 